Storage API can be configured so that files are stored in multiple locations. By default, there is just a single file system container. I'm going to create an Amazon S3 container. Because we're going to be storing our files in multiple locations, it makes sense to use the reduced redundancy option of Amazon S3. Next, I'll create a Rackspace container. So now we have our three containers. In storage class everything, we, we need to add our containers. Let's add Amazon S3 and Rackspace. So every file that goes into this class will be propagated to these two containers. So let's add some content. Propagation happens during cron. And because Amazon S3 is at the top of the list, that means it has highest priority. Our files have now been propagated. So our image is coming from Amazon S3. But from time to time, Amazon S3 stops working um, and you might want to switch to another service. So we can go into our class, make Rackspace top priority. And then when we view our content, it comes from Rackspace.